Hey guys, welcome to Esme and Eric's YouTube channel. I'm Eric. The link's in the description below for more videos like this, you guys. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I got a video today. Um, I got a story, actually, to tell you guys. Um, this occurred around 2011, 2012, that time. 2011, um, I went to... Red Crow College. I graduated that 2012. I was real happy that year. Um, after the end of the story, I'll tell you guys why. So anyways, guys, let's get it going. Okay, I was staying in Lethbridge um, at the Cooley Winds Apartments right next to the, right next door to the uh, park place. Right across from the park. Best place to live if you're in Lethbridge. Yours truly got to get an apartment there. New York style brick walls. It was, it was yeah, I didn't like staying alone, you guys. So, uh, so, like I said, the time frame, you guys, I can't remember specifically about the time frame other than the, you know, the story I'm about to tell, eh? but I will connect the dots. <clears throat> so, this one time at the mall, I see my brother Kirby. Shout out to Kirby and Alicia, man. Those are my people. Anyways, um, Kirby goes and gets into a fight with Alicia because I got into a fight with my ex or something like that. And uh, I, don't, I don't call her my ex, I just say that, that girl. I ended up getting into a fight with that girl. And, um, or the mother of my children, I should say. So any, anyways, I get into a fight and... I'm gonna go bring some bags to her. She found the cops, told the cops that I hit her. And I was like, wow, you know, I was like, wow. Jay Cody said, hey, cops are looking for you, better run. <sighs> so I just fucking dropped her bag and I left. Um, I ran back to the mall. That's where I seen that thing with Kirby go down. Kirby and Alicia fight. And I, Kirby said, I can stay at my place. So I told him, yeah, you can. Meet me at my house. I'll be out there whenever. So I guess he hung out at Tim Hortons. He told me he hung out at Tim Hortons until I got home. And, um, you guys, if I get interrupted, then I gotta leave for a second, don't mind. <laughs> Anyways, um, or if my kid or my son interrupts me, you guys, never mind, man. He's my bodyguard. So, yeah, anyways, you guys, um, that shit popped off. So, cops are looking for me now. I'm running all over the city. Fuck, I finally get to get to an apartment at about 10 o'clock. I chill out for an hour. Kirby pops in. He looks out the window and gives us away. Fuck, he's like, oh, okay, cops look like they're rolling up here. So the cops rolled up. They were the landlord. They had a key. I just let them come in, eh? Because they, they already fucking opened the door. So they come in. They see all that Mary Jane on the counter, eh? I know I'm kicked out after this because my landlord's with them. Cops tell me, Eric, I see that. I'm going to leave it if you come with us. All right, Kirby, watch my place. I'll be back. Going downtown, they book me. My, my apartment's my fucking one block away from the fucking police station. I get charged for assault, and then they fucking, I come back. Kirby's at the house. Well, fuck, man, that's wicked. I said, Kirby, oh, Kirby, if I'm in a predicament, help me out. I was like, all right. Left it at that, hey. And yeah, he left that next morning. Uh, I had my stash. I just grabbed it and went back to Cardston. That was the end of it. Which reminds me, I got a couple of bounce checks from uh, ATB. I, got to, I can go cash if I want. The landlord didn't cash him. I got a letter in the mail. Anyways, I end up... Uh, uh, the mother of my children is pregnant with my daughter. She has her, whatever. I'm staying out there. I'm at Red Crow. Everything's good. One night I leave, or in one day I leave, and I come back, and she says she smells alcohol in my breath, which was false. I end up arguing because I'm like, it's not true, you know? So I end up fucking walking out, hey? And it was cold that night. And I'm like, fuck, I'm going to freeze. That's what I thought, hey? Because, like, a year before that, um... Her mother told some shit, and our brother-in-law, Keegan, froze out there, eh? So, that's what I was thinking when I was out there. And 
like I said, you guys, if I get interrupted, don't mind. The story's worth the story's worth hearing out. Anyways, um, I'm out there and then end up walking and then. Fuck, I guess I walked. I walked to the lights to McLeod, and then when the sun came up or when the light, the blue started coming out, I was way on the other side of old agency. At this point, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking freeze. And then the dog was with me, for Apollo. Shout out to Apollo. Apollo saved my life. So, anyways, I go to this fucking farm. I see these fucking bins. It starts, it's starting to get warm now, cause I think hypothermia is kicking in. Which I still got a tingle in my foot, you guys, like fucking like fucking 10 or 12 years later. So yeah, anyways, you guys, um, I go to this fucking, this hay, this little fucking hay box. And I just sit there and I'm like, fuck you guys, I'm done, I'm too tired. I eat some snow, then Apollo lays by me. He starts barking. And the cops roll up finally. Fuck. They arrested me and they said that I was trying to commit suicide. They got a call from the mother. The. I guess you'd say mother in law at the time. Phoned the cops and said that I was trying to commit suicide in case I ended up frozen out there. Everybody knows that Eric will never commit suicide. That was fucked up. That's the end of that fucking thing. Anyways, you guys, along that trek, I came across Kirby's house. Cops went to Kirby's house, and Kirby said that, in a way, to Uncle Steven, that somebody was prowling out there. All I did was knock on the door because I'm fucking freezing, and I took you in last year, Kirby. You can fucking help me out. Oh, I was mad at Kirby until today. I was still kind of mad. I'm still kind of upset at Kirby because of that, you know, because like, I sustained foot damage, and... You know, like, Kirby, you could help me out, you know, instead of fucking telling the cops that I was just prowling around. That sounded bad, you guys. So, anyways, yeah, I ended up fucking going out there and then, and then passing this house. And then that was the only house I saw I remember seeing. And, fuck, I thought I was walking to the Burger Boys. And I swear I hit the highway. And then, fuck, all of a sudden I'm out at the fucking, like, the, the other standing alone ranch. You know, that old elder guy that gets all those awards at the university? Pete, whatever. Yeah, his area. And then I was so upset when I got back because the cop was telling me what happened. He's like, we got a call from the people out there saying that you left here. You're trying to commit suicide. And I was like, wow. Why are I trying to commit suicide? I got kicked out. They said they smell alcohol on my breath. You know, I remember having my phone, and there's a little bit of juice in there. I checked the phone. I, the only number I remember having was Nada Wolfchild. Hey, and I called, but it was too early. And then I tried to make another call, and then it was, my phone was already dead. Yeah, so you guys, fuck, I'm almost freezing. I was really ashamed because I was kind of embarrassed when I went back to school because Shiloh was in school with me, Shiloh and Kaya at the time. And then I seen Shiloh, and I told Shiloh, hey Shiloh, if you see Alicia, can you tell Alicia I really apologize for going to her house that morning? She said, oh no, Eric, fuck. I was like, fuck, because she, she heard what happened. She's like, you almost fucking froze. I was like, fuck. Yeah, that guys, that's fucked up. Moral of my story was, you know, you guys don't trust anybody, man. Don't trust fucking anybody, you know, especially evil people, you know. Fuck, like evil people will lure you that way. And then look, like, look what happened. Like, they tried to say, I left and I tried to commit suicide in case I ended up dead. Fuck that, man. If I died, you guys would have all knew already. Eric ain't that type, man. Eric ain't that way. Even on his fucking worst days, Eric ain't like that. But yeah, you guys, that's the story of when I almost froze out in all the agency. That was the end of that chapter, you guys. But, you know, in the end, you guys, I got three beautiful children out of it. I got Esman, shout out to Israel 3000, Itesh, Angelica Rose, my baby, and Evie. Evie Genius. Dad says, what's up? So, yeah, you guys, um, especially if you guys are watching, you guys, give your daddy a call. So, yeah, you guys, um... Yeah, peace out. I have a lot of videos like this. I'm going to put a couple up more. A couple more today, you guys. Uh, some will be some real crazy ones. Some laughing, you know. But yeah, tell them, you guys. Peace.